It's always hard choosing which tattoo means the most to you because every tattoo you get, you remember, usually remember where you were, why you did it. If I had to only choose one, I probably would go with this one here. Forgiven for lots of reasons. Number one, this was my very first tattoo I ever got and I never thought I would be a tattoo person. And everybody said, once you get that first one, you're gonna wanna get a bunch. I was like, no, I don't think I will. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, and so I did this first one and it was really cool. I also really like it because it's about my faith that my sins have been forgiven. And I think it's cool because I think most everybody can relate to wanting a second chance at something. Maybe that's your, your, uh, with your friends, choices you've made. Everybody wants to have a second chance to start all over again. And uh, I'm all about redemption. I think redemption is just a great word because we don't want to have to be remembered for all the worst stuff we've ever done. I want to be remembered for who I wanted to be and who I made myself after those you know, trials and, and the stuff that came in my life. So that's probably my favorite of mine. What's yours? My tattoo story, I'm gonna go with this butterfly here, which was my first tattoo. And there's a funny story that goes with it. So we were on tour with Stone Sour, Hailstorm, and they were flying a tattoo guy in from Japan. Um, and so they were like, hey, does anybody wanna get tattoos? And I was like, yeah, I do. And so we did a day off at a hotel room, little jacuzzi tub on the side, I walk into this room, the guy's blasting Johnny Cash, ironically, because here we are. And I'm like, okay. And he looks at me and he's like, you don't have tattoos. And I said, no, I, I don't have any, but I, I want one right here. And he said, oh no, <laughs> this hurts very, very bad. And I was like, it's okay, I, I still want it. He's like, no, no, this make you bleed. And I was like, oh, well, that's okay. I mean, you know, now I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. And he was like, girls, they just, <laughs> they want these and then they stop because of the pain. And I said, well, I think I'll, I think I'll be gonna be okay. So he puts it on there and then my husband comes into the room and jumps into the jacuzzi tub while I'm getting my uh, butterfly tattoo, which it was ours and it was good, but um, <laughs> a bit of a funny story with it and then it was fine because you know, I don't know, it did bleed and it did hurt, but for me, butterfly rep represents, you know, rebirth obviously. And it's a reminder to me that um, in those moments where you don't feel like you have changed, even though you feel like you have changed, that sort of hopeless moment where you're like, oh, I'm still the same stupid person. It's a reminder that change is gradual mm. and to be hopeful and to just go with faith. And what I forgot to say is when he first was about to start, he said to me, are you ready for pain? Are you ready to get pain? Are you ready to get pain? Are you ready and to I was get like, pain? I guess so. <laughs> and we were like, oh my gosh. I know. We, we should give him a shout out because he's, he's a wicked Wait. tattoo artist. If you're looking, his name is Tokyo Hero. Well, we both have our wedding ring tattooed. And that's really meaningful for obvious reasons. Because we like each other still. Yes, it's for life. It's so permanent, you see? It is. Permanent. Just like how I feel about you. It was kind of like, I want to do something like a radical statement of uh, what marriage means, that commitment. Not to get on a major soapbox here, everybody's got their own story to tell, everybody's got their own thing, but commitment and loyalty is not something that our culture really values anymore in general. Uh, and I'm not talking about, you know, just with a marriage, I'm talking about in general, faithfulness to an ideal, faithfulness to a conviction or to someone. So I was like, you know what? I want to do something really radical about the way that I feel about her. So I decided to get mine. And then you, did, you got yours later because you obviously had a wedding ring. Yeah. And then you're like, you know what? Playing guitar all the time. And then people are always like, oh, does she have one too? And she's like, no, not yet. I'll get it. So she ended up getting <laughs> hers. And it's just kind of become a cool statement because not a lot of people in the music business remain married for 20 years. And we've been married for 22 years. And I'm really proud of that. And I like to, I don't know, I like to show it. Showing it right there, people.